Okay, I wanted to show you the next video on uh, printing to the RICO, some options you need to know about when printing uh, secure documents, and also if you don't want your documents just to pile up there, you can actually do two different options. One is a uh, hold print, where you just wait till you get there, you click on a button I'm going to show you, and you can just print it right away. And another one is a locked print, where you actually have to put in a password, and that means that only you can go and print that off. So it's pretty simple to do, just any document. I'm actually in Google Docs right now. Um, and so what I need to do is to open um, a document. And I have a Google Docs document opened. And other than the file but, uh, button, you see print. <clears throat> and that's the same in any document that you have. It comes up with this interface with the printer. And you select the printer. I'm going to select Rico because that's where I'm going to go to. In this case, I'm doing the 113 one. Now, before you just hit print, normally people just do that and just prints off and whoever's there has to kind of sort it or you get lost in someone else's papers who might be printing. Uh, what you want to do is to go to print preferences. This is really important. Up here is normal print, okay? We want to change that. You have to change this every time. So the first one I'm going to do is what's called a hold print. It'll hold till I get there, whether I'm down at lunchtime, but this one other people can print off and hopefully they don't. But uh, this might be easy for some of you. As soon as you choose whole print, you have to hit details. Now then I will type my name in here. It's already in there. And so that will be listed next to the document. I don't have to put a, a, uh, a ID nam name, excuse me, a file name in here for this. I hit OK. <clears throat> and so I'm ready to go. And I hit OK. Just hit print. And that is sent to the RICO. I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like. Now what if I didn't want to do that? And I wanted to um, do a whole print. Well, here I got to open the document again. Under File, hit Print. Same interface comes up. I've seen this all before. Choose my Rico. I hit Preferences again. And instead of a normal print, I'm going to do a locked print. This is great for IEP, sensitive documentation. You don't want parents in there pick, uh, sorting through different documents. You need to do this. Um, I hit Details. And just because I put Evan last time, it's here, but I have to put a password in. Come up with your own password, 48 digits, hit OK, and then hit OK again, and then we just hit print. So I'm going to show you once we get to the uh, actual Rico machine what it looks like from there. All right, so here I'm at the Rico, and I can choose a printer button. And then if you notice, under the printer button there is... Um, Usually it comes up with, say, job list, but you can print, go to print jobs right here, and then you notice that I have my name here. Now under this, I have two jobs. One has a little key, that's the lock key that, I, that locked when I sent, and the first one I sent is just plain, and that means I just, so it was a whole print. If I click that, I can then just hit print, and it asks me to say OK, and I say print, and it goes ahead and print. Okay, but what if I wanted to have a secure document? That was my locked print. If I say print for this one, it prompts me to type my password in, and then hit OK, and then now it asks me if I want to print. And that job is finished. Okay, the best thing to do is hit exit so people don't freak out when they get in here, and uh, put back the job list is a good idea too or just print jobs is, you know, would work fine too, okay? So, that's how we do hold and lock printing.